This is the existing seat in uh, my 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider. This is the seat track. Thing is disgusting. So I've been working on this guy right here. It's a Phillips head and it holds in this seat, right? Worst idea in the world. I just broke it loose, so I'm starting the video here. Uh, that's probably the worst part of the entire seat change is working with the, um, the old metal. Uh, honestly, this is some of the worst metal on this car. The uh, I showed you this thing is God, it's so solid. And uh, let's see here, every part of this car is just rock solid. It's not in great shape, I'll tell you, but. I just love how solid this car. Anyway, this, I finally broke it loose. And uh, let me tell you, it was not easy. I did use that saw blade by hand. And uh, then this is not what I used here. I used this one right here. And you can see the difference in size here. Yeah, let's get this uh, out of the way here. Yeah, look at that. So, that is a size difference. It takes a much, much, uh, used a hammer, some WD-40, a huge thing with this saw blade. This guy's out. Look at that thing. So it's corroded all the way down. This is gonna have to be replaced for sure. And uh, so you pull the seat up. It has some locking tabs right here that lock into this guy right here. Right here, right here. Okay. And um, so under here is a big rust problem on these seats. There are two more locking tabs in the back. I'll get to those once I get this seat out here. This one I uh, started to loosen up. And then we're going to work on the back ones, which I'm sure are a joy and a half. So, yeah, check this out. That one's out. That's two. Look at that one. Not half bad. Okay, let's see if we can move this seat forward. I'm going to pause you. So I'm not sure which way it's going to be up, but we can get a hold of this right here. Promise you that bolt sitting in all that rust. Oof, can't even see it. It's going to be so much more fun than the one I just did. So I'm going to get back to y'all as soon as I get it out or start it anyway. All right. So this is how you loosen one of the... Uh, rusty old seat bolts they rust from the top this uh looks this is from the seat rail but the, everything down here is beautiful this thing is so rust free it's amazing anyway you can easily start a fire this way so be careful uh i've been soaking with wd-40 and things so it's wet heat it up Okay, try not to get the bolt as hot. Put a little WD-40 on it. Okay. And then you put your vice grips. Doing this one-handed sucks, by the way. So. Let's see. All right, there we go. Do that with your non-dominant hand, too. <laughs> this is better, see? Just turn it. Let's see if it's making any headway. Ah, yeah, it's turned a little bit, I think. Alright. Okay, got it on there. Look at that beautiful movement right there. Wow. Okay. So this is the no, it's super rust-free, this whole car. 
this is uh, where the screws went in and you know I can see there's a little bit of crap there I don't know what happened here but yeah super rust free little car just dirt there uh, the seats out I've got uh, quite a bit of time in that already and uh, like this seat is in really the seat cover is in really poor shape but the seat if you look the um, cushions underneath are pretty good so it's a good candidate for recovering so let's see these are as you can see just uh, Phillips head it's the whole car seems like it's put together with this here Pretty obscured. Alright, uh, there she is. We have to have taken out the uh, lower and then the upper. And on this, there is a crossbar right here that holds together the seat. It's the last uh, bolt in the seat and it holds the top on. So, right now, I can pop this out. And get the bottom out but um i loosen this so that it'll put less tension on this and that loosens with uh what is this here that's uh, uh t30 right so t30 goes right here and then you're gonna use a uh, that's a t50 you only need that for one bolt and that takes off in here there's a bolt that holds this guy on and it uses a t50 okay and you need a uh, screwdriver um, you can also use it although that is the great stripper if you've got stuck ones and I use a pick this is for the entire seat job small screwdriver to take off the bolts on the back here then hog ring pliers and of course you need some hog rings I actually just cut some of the old seat off to make it easier and you'll need that to make the holes for the new um, screwdrivers this was used to cut some of the old springs away and I use this to get at some of the uh, old parts as well. And then some needle and thread. I used a bigger thread for the top and a smaller thread for the bottom. A razor knife. And that's really all I use to do the seats. Um, now to get the seats out, I use significant cutting pieces, which is a whole other job in itself. But let me show you how to take this guy out right here. Okay. There we go. Pop this guy and it just pops out like this. There we go. Pops off. Save this. These are the tiny little screws here. They come out reasonably easy. So that in the back. All right, once this is unscrewed, this part just pulls out and pops out real easy. Looks like this, basically. save that piece in good shape this is the back of the seat right here it's held on with these little rubber bits right here these clips pretty easy to pop off 
just, you know, slide the screwdriver under here. And a lot of this is hard to do one-handed, so I'm going to show you and then do it. <laughs> They grip pretty tight, so I'll take this one off here. Let's see if I can show you as I do it. That's it. That's all your screws and bits. Okay. This is me about to separate the top from the bottom here. Just basically cut it off, off like that, and you just pull the seat frame up off of the other one. Okay. Top, bottom. Let's get started. On the handle side, you have to just basically rock the seat till the T30 sock bolt comes into view and then just put your T30 right on it. See, there you go. Hard to do on camera. There we go. And it is not in there really tough, so. basically pulls it off. Once the seat's separated, you can fold the seat back so you have access to the, the screws to separate out the top seat. So you can take the, this off here. And all it does is it raises it up, and up off of the so this unscrews from there and it just snaps it out from here that's what the seat pivots on Okay, so now this uh, this is goes all the way around and it holds the leather on with the clips and everything. So basically, you just pull it off like so. Once it's off, you pull it by hand. Ah, let's see if I can get it. Cool. So I've got it here. See, it pulls off a lot of the clips for you, too. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, some of the clips stay, though. Oof, sorry about that. Oh, that gross. Uh, I'm going to put two hands on the thing. is off it's in one piece you have to go in there and get these uh the clips that remain you gotta get those out so they they just slide out the bottom like so let's see all right so that's off now i just gotta take off the rest of these clips that are left Okay, at this point, you can just remove your headrest. Look at that thing here. <laughs> rough, rough. All right. So the headrest just pops out, okay? Lay down with the seat bottoms. And then these guys right here, they're normally press fit in, but these guys just popped right out. So they weren't in very 
very tiny. It goes with the rest of the stuff in the baggie. And so now it's time to remove the bolts that hold the uh, seat belt stand down. And it's a T50 and a T30. So first we start with the uh, T30. That thing is access is right under here. So with that, you can just take your old seat cushion loose, and then you have to remove these guys here. They have uh, springs hold, but they mostly just rip, I guess. And if they don't rip, you can just cut them. That's what I use these side cutters for, just to get rid of them. can't reuse them any well I mean you might be able to just so you take your seat and just peel it back is all boom Side cutters come in handy here. Okay, so the seat cushion is free. Looks like it's in great shape for a 30 odd year old seat cushion. Okay, put that aside. This piece still has valuable um, parts to it. There's a wire here that you gotta reuse. So, here I use scissors seats inside out. Probably could rip it out, but you'd bend the wire, so don't do that. Okay, now 
this old thing has yielded all the good it's gonna do. Really. And now to clean this piece up. And these are just trash. So, in order to prevent further destruction of any of the uh, bare steel parts that I come across, I uh, coat them in a substance called phosphos. And uh, this is a spray bottle, but it's uh, it basically is phosphoric acid. And uh, just spray it on there and rub it in and give it a little bit to dry. They say give it 24 hours, but I rarely do. Um, it dries pretty quickly when you use generous amounts. But on deep rust, yeah, you want to give it 24 hours and then recoat it and give it another 24 hours. Uh, this part, it's pretty good. Scraped. This is just a seat wire, basically. So. side and come back to it later. This is a, oh, there's a wire. This is a seat cushion. Now that's pretty good. Um, if you look at the pieces, but down this side, this is the side that was exposed to the window, I guess. A little bit of rust on there, so a little bit of oscillation goes on it. smell like sulfur when you um when it gets exposed to rust so all right let's rub off all the excess that we don't need this we got to give a fair amount to dry so i'm just going to coat any other surfaces on the part that i took out of the seat so let's see The bottom half we can get started on now. We're gonna do this one probably now. This comes off, but right now let's uh, angle you up. And this is the worst rust I have seen for some reason. This guy now. This is easy. Okay. So this part right here, oh, that's already been cracked. That's no good. But uh, huh, what is this stuff? But this is supposed to separate out. But it looks like it's pretty well busted. So you unscrew this Phillips head, like everything else on this thing. And it, there it is. Basically, you can just separate out the, the welded parts with the razor blade.
You just squeeze this down and shove this over. Expanding foam. Okay, so this is the front front side right here. And so now we just basically Basically, I keep saying basically. Squeeze the hell out of it. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this process in here. So, take this, turn it inside out. It's durable, it better be. This angle. Let's see. So this is it right here. Let me kind of make sure everything is where it needs to be. A little bit of dirt will clean that off. Okay. Check it out. Alright. That's what you're gonna be doing. So we just take this now and we have to make holes in the new leather and tension it over those times. So I'm pretty sure this is not the way the pros do it. Uh, but there's some um, rubber straps that go at each of these locations here. And I just looked and looked, couldn't find them. And uh, so I developed a string method that um, 
this uh, string right here is a strong wax string. I did get this. These bits right here. Okay, you just tie the string around it. Let's see if I can give you a good picture of what I'm gonna do here. <clears throat> okay, so take uh, this here and you give yourself plenty of thread. I just tie this here into a little bitty knot. Okay. And there are little holes in the cushion. And uh, you just basically slide the needle through the hole because it's a curved needle like that kind of have to fish it through a little bit and uh, let's see here let's see if I can show you on the bottom side here so it comes through there Just uh, see it there. This is hard to do, huh? You just run it through that uh, this piece right here with the metal in there, and push it back through that hole again. Right here, and that secures it. save that one there because you put this one and this one together like this side you just make them taut that's the way they had the rubber it was they were connected and that pulled it taut so you pull it tight enough here and then you pull it taut that way okay and then you just basically compress it a little bit run this thing around here and through the hole okay so now this is the good part right here I've gotten them all threaded up here they're taut and so uh, I've glued the foam to the frame again I had to paint the frame a little bit but whatever and uh, now for the satisfying part right here so after you've done all that so there's holes here and all that so you're gonna we're gonna have to cut some holes there but you just fold the leather over whatever seat cover you're working on <laughs> there you go this one is just super easy that's uh there the tension kind of pulled it in a little bit um here's a little bit less but anyway we got to pull this down and over and we do that once the seat's back together. So basically, now you tension the seat over the rails, like so. You put this thing like that. And then you put the, the seat clips back on them. This part's easy. And then this part, you got a tension up here. And that gives the... Uh, the top it's tension so so what i'm gonna do now uh, we'll start with this one this one's a lot less tension on it right now so we'll just start there all the hardware just 
this what we need for this job. So this, the uh, pin, the uh, pinstripe, the piping, um, piping is right over the edge. So that's where you want it. And we're just gonna start the first one here. And you just basically slide it on. These are easy. I'll take a couple of easy ones. Okay. That's the first two, and that basically starts everything. And then you work your way down, making sure the piping stays on the edge of the, um, the seating. The thicker parts don't want to go on, so you just use a flat head to get them on there. the edging right there so it's where we want it this is the only edge that give you kind of a hassle here because they're under more tension because of the seat foam. Basically, you compress it and you hold it. Right on the edge.
<clears throat> I'm showing you this one. Compress it, like get it on the edge, and then the tension of folding it over kind of holds it there. Just put a clip on there. go all the way around but you got to save four clamps to do here okay That'll be tension when we put the seat back together. And a little bit of wrinkling right here, but that'll pull out once we tension this part right here. But it's pretty much good. There's a trim strip, which we're gonna put on now. trim strip just slides over there and it holds these guys but you got to make sure it's in place properly Just slides over the clips, holds them secure, and holds the leather as well. Even. Okay, now to make the holes. So now we're on to the bottom. This is what the bottoms look like. And they're attached to this metal plate right here. And there's some little tabs that stick through here and there. And you have to kind of pinch them a little bit up. And you uh, just gotta push it out like that. And they come out of these little holes here. The back is a kind of tricky actually because back I have these little tabs right here and you just you kind of pinch them up and then you pinch this back out and you kind of pinch these out and there you go that was easy I already done it because it can be time-consuming and a pain in the butt okay and then this is what the bottom side looks like 
they never look that good um, on any vehicle really this one's particularly bad because it's a convertible but this one is actually like I said a pretty rust free car so you know uh, got lucky in a lot of it this one has a lot of these springs but they're in rough shape so they kind of just come off and they hold the seat um, the seat uh, fabric in place and this stuff just comes apart lots of dust though so ah, gets in your nose the hog rings just bend up These hog rings just hold the seat fabric to the frame. Make sure you have your tetanus shot. <laughs> uh, when doing one of these. Because tetanus is no joke. spring still together okay this is important this is a uh, plastic that goes all the way through and unfortunately this one is broken but you do need it so you got to try and salvage it or get a new one So this comes off and then you want to make sure you get all the springs out. There's one right here. Here's one right here still in. And these springs have long ago rotted away. I'm surprised that this one up here is still connected to the seat. There's another one that's connected. Oh yeah, eye protection. Ugh. So it looks like, yep, no, hog ring here. cushion free and then this is your guide wire that goes underneath the um so I'll put the cushion down here still need this
gotta pull them all off because otherwise they keep this wire stuck. Alright. Handy dandy scissors. Okay. Now the internal guide wire of the seat broken in one, two, three different places, I guess. This is what just holds the hog rings uh, through the material. That's all the usable pieces of this seat, except for this one right back here. It's a piece of metal that goes through the leather, or in this case, not leather, but and you need some pliers to take it out. This is new for me. Scissors. Wow, that's a great one. That wire, a little bit corroded, but here we are. That is everything usable from here. No need to, wow, that is something. That is something. Worked extra hard of that seat, ah, 36 years old, I guess. cleanup time. So as with everything in here, it's all Phillips said. This is surprisingly coming off without a hitch. Just like that. Okay, so these I've obviously I've uh, treated already with um, a substance called Osphos. It uh, converts rust to a paintable surface, so it's actually kind of hard. So it's um, a lot better than it was when I got it. It's still kind of flaky. Um, I'm gonna fix it as best I can. Uh, so these go like that. like this one's already off so this side's not in as bad shape this is the passenger side really safe no this is the driver's side must have spilled a lot of coffee on there okay so I'm just gonna use some 150 and uh, try and clean it up get a little paint on her This is actually 60.
First things first, we got to prepare the seat cover. Uh, we have to put this guy in. We have to find a way to reuse these because I didn't order any. So I'm going to put them in to the seat. And then just get the seat covered up. So this just gets slid right in here. not tough okay you have to cut the holes which is that that's kind of interesting and then they leave you this little loop here and you just slide this guy in and it's supposed to go all the way around but best laid plans of mice and men right Improvise, adapt. Okay, so now we have these guys right here and scissors. Just, I guess we're gonna put it here so there's, it's not gonna live at the cut point there. So. Slide it through here. And get it in. So you're gonna go past the cut point and then kind of work it back to where they meet up. Let's see here. Oh, it came right back out. Ooh, there we go. And that's a little bit more. Okay, right about there. So this is used to go over there and then the hog rings go through all there. We just gotta avoid the breaking points. Um, that's all. Very cool. Okay, so this is prepared. Now we gotta prepare this stuff. This is going to take longer, okay? So this stuff, we got to just pull all this fabric off. This old, worn out fabric that's stuck to it. It's coming off pretty easy. That's pretty nice. Inside here, I gotta put it in the trash now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now this thing right here is in really, really bad shape. So See if we can get these off. Okay, so now I have to get this wire into here. Uh, I'll show you how I start it. And maybe even do it. <clears throat> so, wire is 
not super flexible, but it is flexible. And, um, but it's springy, so you can bend it and not break it. So you just basically slide it in, basically. <laughs> it's all basic, isn't it? And then you kind of bend it in. Making the bends is the hard part, of course. Of course. And then you just kind of edge it up. And then push it in. Bunch it up as much on this side as you can. So you have more room to push it in. Now the other bend. Now it gets eh, a little bit challenging because you're making two bends now. So now we have the wire in here, wire in here. We're ready to th start threading it on the pad. Here's the pad. And then, just like we did with the top, go through the bottom. All right. Go from the holes in the seat here. Stop switch locations because it's so much nicer out by the uh, pool and it is a brilliant Florida day. So yeah, I'll be doing some of it right out here. So this is the most satisfying part of the job. Bam. Turn into right here. You gotta kind of press the uh, bolsters into the seat. So I got to do the hog rings now, and um, basically got to stretch the fabric over the metal, and then put these hog rings on them with this.
playing hard and so it is a map. Now the seat bottom is ready to put back into the seat. Back in the garage. Yes, this is now the reverse process. We have to put her back together. These are what the uh, seat rails turned out to be. They're all right, they're not great. They're not replaced. They're sturdy, but you know, not perfect. So 
Oh, these are gonna get anti seize because of the miserable time I had putting them back together. I mean, well, taking them apart, sorry. These were not torqued all that much, so I guess it doesn't take too much to do. All right, so to get this in, gotta put these guys in the back. Put these guys in the back right here. See them? And you gotta poke. Uh, these guys in the front. You do the back first. It is rather more challenging than it seems, I'll tell you that. But nothing compared to getting them out. You have to compress everything. Everything gets NIC. And of course, every NIC gets on everything, so it kind of works out. everything loose so that uh, you can slide everything over relatively easily and you just tighten it up later well after you're done with this no later won't get done to get all this stuff out, I think. I gotta clean up too. And uh, there we are. Tucked in tight. Job. Alfa Romeo seat. Now to put her in. <laughs> 